Hey there friends, it's me Lauren with Bold Notion Quilting and I wanted to take a minute and say hello. It's been a couple of months since I've had a long arm in the studio and been able to do a long arm quilting tutorial. We've got plenty of space in the studio while we're waiting for our long arms to arrive, but I thought it would be fun to do uh, a filler doodle tutorial today. So for those of you who are in your journey and you're at the beginning or maybe you're intermediate and you're starting to you know combine designs or maybe even if you're a custom quilter and looking for different fillers this can be an amazing um, background filler that you can use or even a wonderful all over depending on how tightly or how loosely you quilt it so instead of doing you know a normal stipple or maybe a scallop design this could be a fresh fun filler for you to use instead this filler is something that I use I'm not exactly sure what the proper name of it is it looks like um, one of those geographical maps that my husband's in the Coast Guard, he's always looking at. Um, and so we've got a lot of different, you know, lines and squiggles and designs in there. So let's take a minute and let's go check out uh, how to doodle out this design. While we've got the morning sunrise playing nicely, let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this design. So normally when you're doing a stipple, you're following a stipple kind of haphazardly around. Some people will call it meandering about, right? So this design is a lot like this, but it's a little more open and it's a little more, um, I like to call it masculine because it's just different than your ordinary quilting and most quilting is associated with feminine designs. So if you actually take this design and you start up and you do really wide swings, I like to come in and do a flick out, okay? Then you follow it in about a quarter of an inch or so leave space to get out of there fill this until you can't and then you go out to a new area and you make a new shape I like to do the flick you could make it round if you wanted to but the fun thing about this is that you can kind of set the space and then kind of finish it out on your own and the goal is to try to keep these designs kind of similar in spacing but you'll notice that when you quilt these areas that you leave a little bit bigger they're going to draw your eye to it as you're quilting so you can just come around and do little ones if you need to to fill the space let's see what it looks like if we do a circle and you don't have to get all the way in there and if i end up with a space that let's say i'm not sure how to fill i just like to kind of do a squiggly line about come in Fill that space. Just make sure that you fill it all up and that you leave yourself room to get out. Squiggly line. And then look, we're trapped. So let's get out of here. You can do a little one. And I like to kind of change up the size and shape. Go out. Okay, and this is a fantastic one. I did this on a Marine's memory quilt in a couple of them and it just looked so interesting. And what you wanna do is you wanna fill up these empty spaces while you're in here to kind of take your viewer's eye away from where you're stopping and starting and traveling. Maybe you just wanna get out of there and not have to come back in. It's okay to have more than one point. Just make sure that you can get out. And I like to change up where I stop and where I start. So this is fun. You just kind of do that same meander about, but this is something that, you know, is a little bit more fresh and a little bit more modern. And so it can be used on, you know, a different variety of quilts. And sometimes, you know, you're thinking, hey, a stipple would look fantastic in this area, but it just doesn't quite feel right. This can take up that space. So I hope you like this. It's just a really quick, simple, fun thing that you can do. It can be a great warm up, and you just want to practice getting those lines as even as possible. And there's no, you know, hard and strict rules for how to do this. Once you're all done quilting it, it ends up looking really amazing. So you can see a picture of how I've done this here.
Thanks again for watching this fun doodle tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I cannot wait until my long arms are back in shop now that we have set up a shop in Brooksville, Florida. Um, I'm so excited to be able to do that and hopefully we can do a couple more fun doodle tutorials. If you guys are enjoying this, please, you know, comment below, give it a thumbs up, give it a share or subscribe. Um, I really appreciate y'all joining me today and keep in mind that if you want to learn and do more with your free motion quilting skills, you can quilt along with us on boldnotionquilting.com and all you have to do is click on the course section and we do have some free ones that you can quilt along with us or you can take some skill builders or even free motion mastery courses that'll take you from I'm not sure what materials I need to make this quilt turn out the way I want it to look to I can custom quilt anything so I appreciate y'all being here today don't forget to like and subscribe have a wonderful day bye